Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to uh, What is Engineering 2020. This is the Faculty of Engineering and we're looking at the uh, Environmental Systems Engineering program. We are in the uh, uh, Hydraulics and Fluid Mechanics Laboratory and my name is uh, Dean Milton. I'm one of the lab instructors here in uh, University of Regina. And I'm Ben Lickamol, the other lab instructor. Okay, we're just going to do a quick little virtual tour of a couple of our uh, laboratories here in environmental engineering and uh, highlight some of the things that we, uh, we do in, uh, in this case, fluid mechanics. So in this laboratory, we can do uh, everything from looking at the performance of a centrifugal pump. Uh, we can uh, look at simple things like uh, specific gravity and viscosity and density of different types of fluids. We can look at uh, how fluid flows and pipes and some of the uh, losses that are uh, taking place in a pipe network. Uh, there's a couple of instruments in here. One is a venturi meter and one is an orifice. We can use them for measuring flow in pipes. Uh, we have another large apparatus here which uh, looks at the hydrological cycle and uh, we can make it rain. We can simulate a drawdown in a water well. In the background you can see a, a target being impacted by a water jet. We look at the uh, forces in in uh, different flow and how they interact with solids. We have a number of teaching uh, pieces of equipment. The last thing we wanted to show you is our uh, hydraulic flume. You can also look at uh, turbines and how we uh, convert uh, potential energy to kinetic energy or vice versa. In our uh, water channel here, we have a demonstration of a hydraulic jump, which looks at the dissipation of energy. If this was a uh, typical hydroelectric uh, power plant where we have uh, water running through a turbine, we release that water into the natural environment. We need to slow that water down so it doesn't do any damage. This is called a hydraulic jump, and it dissipates the, uh, the energy in this high-velocity water. So that's just a little bit about our fluids and hydraulics area. We'll move on now to uh, our geotech soils area and you'll get an idea of some of the other things we do here at U of R. Okay, welcome to our uh, soil lab and and uh, other activities lab in, in uh, for EVSC. Uh, in this lab we we do a lot of uh, soil testing for classifying soils uh, so we do a variety of different tests here and then uh, we also do uh, strength testing of soils, like for example this uh, machine here uh, for testing the direct uh, shear strength of soils. And then we also uh, store lots of other equipment in here for other labs, uh, such as uh, all of our surveying equipment. Our, uh, for our surveying equipment, like for example this optical level, we take it outside and we do uh, and this tape measure, we do a variety of different uh, um, land surveying techniques to learn how to do surveying for construction and engineering uh, out in the field. So we go all around campus. That's fun for me working outside. So in the environmental systems engineering program, we spent a lot of time talking about all aspects of the environment. Things like air pollution, air quality, uh, water, wastewater treatment, uh, groundwater contamination, solid waste management, and a number of other topics that are very important to our environment. The lab that we just walked into is the uh, Water and Wastewater Laboratory, and we study all aspects of uh, domestic water supply as well as our wastewater, uh, not only in the city of Regina, but uh, uh, generally throughout Canada. It's a uh, fairly uh, similar problems that uh, the city of Regina would have. Uh, you can well imagine that in the city of Regina, uh, the solution to pollution is dilution. Well, we don't have any dilution. We, we have to spend millions of dollars on infrastructure and hundreds of thousands of dollars each year to reduce the uh, solids and the organics in our wastewater before we ever release it into something as small as Wascana Creek. So in this lab, we are very interested in uh, simulating some of the water and wastewater technologies that, that are out there and we simulate them uh, with the water chemistry that we do as well as some of our structure we can uh, simulate things like uh, water filtration, we can simulate uh, sedimentation that might take place in a clarifier in a water treatment plant. Uh, so we use our, our water chemistry as a way to quantify 
how well our simulations are working. So this is one of the other areas of uh, environmental engineering, and that is the water and wastewater uh, treatment. So I hope this uh, little presentation has given you a little idea of about uh, some of the things that we're doing at the U of R. Uh, when we get back to a face-to-face, -face, we welcome you on campus to have a full tour of our facilities. Thank you.